Even if a project compiles successfully, there can still be errors that cause the design to malfunction. Oftentimes those errors are caused by wiring the wrong modules together, or forgetting to connect one of the ports in a module. Cordis provides a helpful tool called the RTL Netlist Viewer that helps identify these errors. When the project compiles, Cordis generates a block schematic of your project, complete with modules, gates, and wirings. Let's take a look at the RTL for this project. First, compile the project. Then go to the Tools tab and select Netlist Viewers, and then RTL Viewer. The default view is from the perspective of the top-level module, in this case, System. We can see the instances of my AND and my inverter contained in System, as well as the wiring between those modules and the ports of System. You can click the plus on a module to expand the view of that module. For AND1, we can see the assigned statement represented as an AND gate in the schematic. If we want to go back and look at System, we can double-click the module and the navigator on the left. If you have a mouse, you can hold Control and use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Otherwise, you can use the options in the View tab. Looking at Inverter 1, we see the assign statement as a NOT gate, as we'd expect. Now let's see what happens if we introduce a faulty connection into the design. I'll go ahead and remove the connection between Inverter 1 and System. It will compile, but... When we go to the RTL viewer, the mistake is clear. Compare this to the correct schematic. Sometimes it can be hard to spot a misconnection if you're working with a very large project. If you suspect you might have miswired something but can't find it in the RTL, you can check the Warnings tab. Right here, it says, Output port system out and system has no driver. So you see that even when it compiles, Cordis does notice the misconnections.